name is Charlie and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. Um, I was tagged by the wonderful Shelley from Shelley Sorenden to do the behind the booktube tag and I thought to myself that this is actually quite a good video for me to do because you know it's not something I really have really talked a lot of some of these questions I haven't really talked a lot about so I thought do you know what I'm going to go into them I don't I haven't obviously I've watched Shelley's video but that was like about a week ago or maybe not a week ago that was a few days ago so um none of the questions are particularly fresh in my mind I've got them in, on in front of me so I'm just going to go read them off and then answer them off the cuff so we'll see what happens right the first question is um what has surprised you the most about booktube both in a good way and in a bad way obviously this is my second time around so um the community never fails to surprise me of how wonderful and supportive it is. You guys, it's just amazing. Um, so I guess that's like one of the good things. Um, one of the bad things, again, being back the second time, I know that the time factor can be part of it. I feel like I'm in quite a good routine now. So um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't really have any negative things to say currently that are in my brain. So um, I don't really have any negativity around my channel currently. We're only very small here so um yeah grateful though um question number two is how do you balance reading and booktube with the rest of your life <sighs> um sometimes i think it's probably i'm sure as lots of people will say sometimes i think i balance it better than others um i think the the tip um i think shelly probably said this as well is just to kind of like not take anything too seriously and just to kind of um if you have time to read and you have time to booktube good obviously family life and um everything else sort of that stuff comes first um often so um yeah i think it's just making time for it when you can but not beating yourself up if you can't um right question number three is have you ever thought about starting a patreon my channel is very very small as i said so um that is not on my radar at all and um, i think it's wonderful when people have patreons i think it's a wonderful way to support creators so i don't think anything bad about it but yeah that's just my thoughts currently with me question number four have you made any mistakes on booktube i mean i've been here since 2018 on and off with the big gap in between and um, so probably um, at the beginning when i was making um, my videos i don't really know honestly i feel like forever ago when i first was on booktube I don't think there was anything I've never got really got involved in any booktube drama thankfully um so yeah if you can think of anything I mean obviously as you the more you do videos the more you learn the more you grow so in terms of mistakes I think it's an evolving process and and a, yeah but yeah nothing major I wouldn't say um do you have any advice for new booktubers uh just find um just i think be gentle on yourself make what videos make you happy and um, i think that's the most important thing um, and be kind to yourself and like try and just connect and comment on as many other people's videos because i think that's when you find new friends that's a good way of finding friends but yeah that's probably the biggest two things be kind to yourself have fun and just continue to interact with other booktubers both and also maybe like an instagram or like a bookstagram or a twitter i mean they're not essential but a, a, a platform that you can connect with um people off just youtube whether that's voxer or discord etc but they're quite useful things as well not essential but useful um right uh what are your thoughts on the youtube algorithm i really don't think about it maybe i should be thinking about it but i really try not to like have it in my mind and um, about i don't really have any thoughts on the youtube algorithm there you go i don't know what makes the videos popular and what makes the videos less popular again i'm still quite a lovely small quiet channel so yeah that is that question seven um how do you start decide what videos to make well obviously you guys will know that um i have my weekly reads now that i kind of do and i have a, my little natter with you guys every week which I really like and I really enjoy. Uh, uh, 
Additionally to that, if anything comes up that I want to make kind of like this or like with videos with Charlie or with my other friends, etc., I will just make them and put them up. I used to, when I, back in the old days when um, I was taking things a lot more seriously, I would plan my videos out to the letter. I would have like, I had this big diary and I would, any, all new ideas I would put in, but I really don't take it this that seriously because I'm just really here for my, like logging my reading and connecting with people. So yeah, um, I don't really have any sort of, occasionally I might jot an idea down occasionally and put it on my phone, but yeah. Uh, are you overwhelmed with video ideas? No, I'm not overwhelmed. Again, I'm not taking it seriously enough probably for that. Um, I remember I used to feel like that back in the day and I think some of that is what led to my initial burnout because I was just take there was so many things I was taking on board in my life plus um like planning YouTube and I was I was trying to put so so much effort into everything and at the end of the day I'm one person and you just have to sort of again realize that and be gentle on yourself so yeah that's probably again it's this is going to be the continuing message of this I would say um, have you ever regretted posting a video? No, I haven't. Not that I can think of. I really can't think of anything that I've regretted. I I think I'll, I wor I'm a warrior, and so I think a lot before I post things. Um, so yeah. No, currently no. I'm sure that maybe that will happen. I don't know. But yeah. Um. 9a are the numbers of views slash subscribers meaningful to you and um, all the subscribers i have on my channel they mean a lot to me all of the you guys who i interact with they mean a lot to me and um, so that is meaningful but in terms of the numbers i try not to think about it as being quite honest and maybe that's again maybe that's wrong maybe i should be worrying about it um but this isn't who i am so no it's meaningful in the sense of I appreciate you all, but it's not meaningful in the sense of I'm obsessed by it. Um, and um, it says, are the number of views such subscribers a measurement of success? If you think that, if you have a channel and you think of it as a measurement of success, then yes, it's a measurement of success. For me, again, for me, I just am doing my own little thing in my own little bubble and I'm quite happy with it. I don't feel unsuccessful because I have my little channel and my little viewers, but not little viewers, I mean, I'm sure none of some of you are, are, are bigger than others, but um, no, <laughs> no, I do not feel, I don't think it's something you should beat yourself up. If you, if you think, if you've got like a channel that has 50 subscribers and you're happy and you're content doing your thing versus someone that has 30,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers or whatever, it's all relative to you. And if you're happy in yourself, you're happy in yourself. That's personally my thought on it. Um, uh, it says, are you disappointed by the growth? Are you disappointed by the growth of your channel? No, I'm not. Again, it's all down to the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. I'm happy. I'm happy with, this is what I'm, I'm here. I'm making my videos. I'm happy. So yeah. Sometimes I think if you do a video and it does get very little views, sometimes occasionally, if you're feeling low already, it might get to you. That is truthful. Obviously it will get to you. Um, and, um, you know so yeah but um i think that's more meant if your mental health is feeling low you're more susceptible to anything in your life um making you feel more low so yeah i think that's probably that really have you ever thought about quitting booktube well obviously you guys know if you would maybe you some you might not know and um, back i was originally about on booktube back in 2018 i was here for about a year um, maybe 18 months, a year, 18 months. I don't know. I can't remember exactly about a year, year and a half. And I did quit. And um, I didn't ever, it was never a big, it was never a big exit. I just it felt, felt, felt overwhelmed. So I just stopped and then I just d didn't restart. No, that last year back in 2022. So yeah, I never know what's around the corner in terms of my own self quitting. I'm never going to say I'm not going to quit because I don't know. It depends what life, what happens. But currently, Again, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> what are, so question 12 is, question 12a is, um, what are the most touching comments? Probably, um, again, back last year, um, my family was having a very difficult time. My mum was really poorly and we had a very difficult summer last year. 
plus my younger sister then also um, had a major operation. Some of you guys will know this. And um, I was posting and um, videos, I was posting videos during that time, but it, um, they were a lot more sporadic. And the comments um, during that time to those videos in particular, all little comments mean a lot whenever you send them to me. They really, really do. Honestly, they mean so much. But during that time when I was filling up my lowest ebb, having messages from um, my subscribers and um, some of my book bookish friends as well, all of you, those comments, they really meant a lot. And there were people that really um, had never commented before writing on my um, um, channel. And those comments, honestly, um, it, still, it actually makes me quite emotional even thinking about those comments because I was in like very, very dark place. I was feeling very overwhelmed and those comments helped keep me going. And um, so yeah, yeah I, this is what I mean. Like you guys are the best. Like I genuinely mean that. Um, I'm very sincere about that. So yeah. Thank you every single person that's ever commented on my videos and um, I'm really, really grateful for each and every one of you. But yeah, during that time especially, um, that was really when it, it, I really yeah, felt it here. So yeah, thanks. Um, it says, what are the most negative comments? Now, I haven't really luckily had that many negative comments because again, I've got a small channel, so I don't really um, yield that many um, negative comments. I've had only one sort of comment that strikes in my head about um, a video that I did with Charlie um, and it was, um, we were being quite wacky, me and Charlie, my lovely friend Charlie, Charles Heathcote, when we get together and we film we have the most fun, I don't know whether you guys can tell, <laughs> um, and sometimes we do get a bit carried away, I'm not going to lie, we do get carried away, and someone said, um, someone commented um, saying, oh no, this is too weird for me, and um, I was just like, okay, that's fine, um, it kind of made me laugh more than I didn't feel that I felt hurt by it, but um, yeah, that was, I guess, a negative comment. I don't ever let things get to me, really. So but again, there you go. In regards to booktube, where do you see yourself in five years time? I'm the kind of person that can barely think of it until next week. So um, I don't try not to really plan that much. Um, again, <laughs> that's just who I am in life. I never really make big life goals, big life lo long, long plans. I don't really like thinking of the future. It kind of scares me being honest. And I don't really feel like we have any control too much um, in terms of in terms of booktube, I will fit that into the same category. I don't really know what will happen in one year's time in my channel. So let alone in the next five years. So yeah, I do not know. And I will not try and say. So yeah, that is everything. And um, those are all the questions. Thank you so much to Shelley for tagging me. If, and if you want to put any of your answers to these questions in the description, if you make videos, or um, maybe um, uh, if you don't make videos and you just want to say some of your favourite things about um, booktube, things that you love about booktube. Um, if you've got any suggestions for my channel, that would be really helpful. If you've got any video ideas, they're always welcome. You can say them in the in the um, in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you so so much again for watching and commenting. Take care and send you guys lots of love. Goodbye.